please welcome to the stage Richard Woody. Captain Neil. Hello. Howdy. Alright, uh, so how about we give a hand for your host? Just gonna let you make people laugh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to start off strong because we've got a lot of places to go tonight. So, um, racism. Um, yeah. Alright, the first Tuesday of every month at the Richmond Funny Bone, they have a contest called Class of the Comics. Really great show, I'm going to be there April, come out and see it. I got your free ticket if you want one. The only problem with this competition is a little, little racist. Because the way it works is you're not allowed to say the F word, the C word, or the N word. I think we all know what words I'm talking about, but I've seen many different people get kicked off for saying the F word. I've seen many different people get kicked off for saying the C word. And only one group of individuals Tends to get kicked off for saying the N word. I'll leave you to guess which one. <laughs> now, I don't think it's fair because that word can just slip out for some people, not the white people. You will not find a single white person in this room who's going to let that word slip out without their previous knowledge of it. That trait has been Darwinianly bred out of us. Because those white people who could let that slip out are either no longer with us, or they all moved to a small colony in southern Alabama. So in order to rectify this mistake, this little racial injustice, I propose that we throw out some words that white people just let slip out every now and then. Something that other people don't really talk about, like mild sauce. <laughs> Or Taylor Swift. <laughs> Actually, I know. I know the perfect word, and it's a word that only white people talk about, and it's used to disparage an entire race, and that word is twilight. And I speak, of course, of the once great race of vampires. Now bear with me for a moment, because vampires used to be creatures of horror. You would tell your children stories about these blood-sucking creatures who would come in the night, sneak into your room and suck the life force from your neck, forcing you then to become one of them, feeding upon the ones you love for sustenance. This was horrifying. The only way to kill one of these creatures was to push a wooden stake through its heart or to force it into the sunlight where the purity of the sun was too much for their wicked souls to handle and they burst forth in fire hell flames in a presumably very uncomfortable death. Now, what happens when you force a vampire into the sunlight? They sparkle! They Fucking twinkle! Man, that's not even the worst part about it. They're so angsty about it. If they would just move on with their lives and move to Southern California, no one would care. Join Cirque du Soleil. Have you seen how fast those fuckers can climb a tree? I'm sorry, I thought it was funny. But, uh... Speaking of the gays, this is how I'm going to leave you tonight. I'm sorry for that, but did you know that Jesus was a gay advocate? Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true, though. And I will quote you scripture. Jesus once said um, that it is not what goes into the mouth of a man that defiles him, but rather what comes out. Meaning that you can put anything into your mouth and it will not taint your soul. And the last time I checked, anything includes a big, rock-hard, throbbing, possibly black, penis. <laughs> and that's how I leave you tonight. Good night, everybody. <laughs> coming up tonight coming up a lot. I don't want to talk about something real quick if I can make you aware of something racially 
There are more Asian Americans in the Knicks starting lineup tonight than there are in this room. <laughs> Think about it. All right. Your next comic coming up tonight. A bus. Uh, and the bus fucking killed. All right. Give it up for the bus. All right. Your next comic is Josh Horsford. It was going on every year. Woo! That's like, yo! <laughs> yo, so I got this, uh, this new pet parrot the other day, right? His name is um, Jim Crow. <laughs> you know, after that famous bird. I mean, racist. <laughs> I was going to name him after the um, uh, tropical uh, homosexual gay bird right out of it, uh, Toucan Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, nah, that's too fruity. <laughs> um, so I realized, <laughs> so I realized something the other day. I was like, I wasn't. I was like in high school. I was like, I was nerdy and nervous, so girls didn't like me. But also, girls didn't like me because I was nerdy and nervous. It's like a never-ending cycle of not getting pussy. <laughs> and also being nerdy and nervous. God damn it. Shit doesn't know better. Um, I walked into the, the restaurant the other day. <clears throat> so can I get an LGBT with no cheese or mayo, please? Wait, what the fuck you mean the LGBT isn't a sandwich? Man, that's gay. That's a smart joke. <laughs> All right, can I just get an NAACP on wheat bread? <laughs> <laughs> Stop making these groups sound so delicious, man. That's all I got to say. Um, uh, what's my next joke? <laughs> uh, he's like Drake. <laughs> Drake! <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all something. Jesus, Jesus definitely got pussy. That's the, that's the right. <laughs> Jesus definitely got pussy. Um, <laughs> Cause I can get pussy just being Jesus' friend. Like y'all ever have a friend in a band? Jesus is like that, except times two. <laughs> Maybe times three, I don't know. Like, um, <laughs> y'all ever have, have a friend in a band that can do magic? It's like a pussy magnet. Come on. All right. <laughs> I, got, I, got, uh, I do have to thank the greatest creator, the great creator for that joke. Um, you know what I'm talking about, the man upstairs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn, I fucked up. <laughs> I have to thank the, the greatest creator. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the man upstairs. <laughs> I fucked up, I mean, that's not important. Uh, <laughs> nah, the one thing, I am tired of, uh, all these white people trying to tell me how fucking black I am. Like, you wear slim fit jeans. You're, you're not black. What do you know about struggle? And I just look at them, and I'm like, nothing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't know shit about you. Yeah, I'm like, that sounds terrible. Is this a, a bunch of poor people stabbing each other and shit? What the fuck? That does sound, that sounds awful. But, um... <laughs> Nah, but how the fuck you gonna like judge a motherfucker if I'm from the like the ghetto or not? Just because my parents worked hard to get to the suburbs right. and the four lane shit doesn't mean I'm less black. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm as black as the fucking most hoodest, fucking gangster, drug dealing, this drug dealer ghetto in the motherfucking ghetto. I'm just as black. There's other shit that separates us, but I'm just as black as him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just not fair. Like I can't walk up to white people with them and like, wait. So your parents walk in Weezer? <laughs> What about the Kings of Leon? Was your, was your dad in the Kings of Leon? Or was your dad on that show, uh, How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> or, <laughs> or the Big Bang Theory? Was he on that shit? <laughs> you ain't white, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh... <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. I'm fucking up. Um, or, like, what the fuck you mean you don't like salad? What? Or friends? 
，因为我还，真的吗？ My mortal enemy, the cops. How black I am! You know what I'm saying? I can't watch it. Cops are like, oh, he's black, but he has glasses. I trust him. They're not like that. Cops are like, he's black slash guilty. Get him. Terrible. Fuck it up. Anyway, that's my time back again. Y'all have been great. Fucking. Style. Anyway, your next comedian coming up is Native American, so anybody who doesn't like him is racist. Please welcome Jesse Jarvis. Yeah, yeah, cap it, yeah, shit, yeah. Right, I'm Native American, but I look like Soldier Boy. That's how I do. <laughs> Don't believe that. You wouldn't believe that. Yeah. Well, you should, but no, 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 no. I, Like, all right, guys. Uh, thank you for coming out tonight. I, I don't know how to say this other than like, I waste my time just apologizing to people way too much. Like, I just apologize. You know, like this, I do the standard issue apologies for the women in my life. You know, I'll be like, oh, hey, I'll talk to my girlfriend. Be like, oh, hey, so I left the toilet seat up. Or I'll be like, oh, hey, mom, sorry, I went to the whole art school thing. I apologize for that. <laughs> But then what ends up happening is I end up apologizing to people for shit I shouldn't have to apologize for, you know? It's like, oh, hey, sorry that movie wasn't as good as you thought it was going to be. By the way, did you know people are dying in the Sudan? Did you know that? But yes, I'm sorry the fifth installment of Fast and the Furious wasn't as good as you thought it was going to be. I'm so sorry. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I heard the next one, they go back to the whole Tokyo Drift thing, you know? Yeah. Vin Diesel tries sushi for the first time. That'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert, it takes place in the parking lot of the PF Chains. Sorry. <laughs> this is new shit, guys. I mean, like, thank you for indulging me in this shit, but, like, I mean, this is, this is, what, I, this is what I gotta do. This is a part of it. And, uh, I, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say everything. I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's, it's just how it's gonna be. But, like, alright. God damn it. I, um, I was, I was outside. Alright, yesterday, I was at an intersection, and uh, at the intersection, this prostitute walks right in front of my car, and uh, she was doing like the whole like sexy librarian thing, only, you know, she wasn't sexy, but she, you know, she was wearing these like disgusting white wrestler tights and stuff, and it's like, God, it looks so sad, and then her pimple's like 10 steps behind her, he's like, looking at me while I'm sitting in the front seat of my car, he's like, yeah, no, yeah, you want that? He's like, no, no, I do not want that. That looks like Christy Alley dressed as a melted candle. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't want that. And plus, I, like, I drive a Nissan Versa. What kind of money do you think I have? Like, I, like I'm having trouble paying my student loans. What makes you think I'm gonna throw my money away to some girl who's gonna be, give me the saddest sexual experience of my entire life? You know, it's like... I, like, you know, if I really want to do that, I'll just go to Courtney Love, because I can get that shit for free. <laughs> She'll give it up for free. But... Let's talk about immigration. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Well, like, immigration has been a big debate ever since this country existed. It's just, it's always been there, but now the argument is like, we're fucking taking our jobs, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, they're not. Like, Americans haven't done any of those jobs in like 30 years. Like, nobody's, like, do you want to pay, you want to get paid three fifty an hour to pick strawberries, you know? Because you got to pay your visa bill. Because you had to get that Chewbacca outfit on eBay. Like, no. It's not even like, don't do that. But they, but they have this whole, their whole theory on it is just like, oh yeah, well, you know, they, they want to have them work for the cheap labor, and then they immediately want to kick them out. It's like, no, that's like having a beautiful woman pay for your steak dinner, and then you kick her out of bed after sex. She's like, well, can I at least stay or take a shower or something? It's like, no, 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 you won't get out now because you ain't American. Hell no. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna just bail on that right now. You know, let's, let's, let's just, I'm gonna just leave you guys on something else. Uh, you know, when you, like a lot of people think that when you go to the clubs 
or the bars or something. That's when women are going to judge you the most. Is that fair? You know, they're going to judge what you're wearing, your hairstyle, your swagger, like when you're at the clubs. But you know what? I say, yeah, I said swagger. Fuck yeah, I said swagger. That's a word. It is a word. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but yeah, like, they think, like, women are judging when you go to the clubs. But you know what? I say, think again, try the grocery store. Because I was there, and some girls gave me the cutie eye, and I was like, all right, now keep in mind, we're not at a bar, so I can't buy her a drink like a gentleman. But like I said, we're at the grocery store. So I can get her a Hillshire farm sample, like a man. <laughs> she comes up to me, comes up to my cart, sees that all I have is mayo, hot pockets, and toilet paper, and she immediately scoffs at me. She's like, ah, you seem like the kind of guy I could like, but judging by your purchases, you have no respect for your digestive tract, which means how are you going to have any respect for me, boy? Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, you know, since you said that, uh, you seem like the kind of girl I could like, but judging by your cart, all you have is wine coolers, cat food, and tissues. Which means you're the kind of girl who's going to call me drunk at 2 in the morning and cry about how your cats don't understand you. <laughs> Which means you can't understand me, girl. <laughs> anyway, Cafe Dan, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for letting me try out for these guys. Enjoy the rest of the show. Brian Gordon, everybody! Thank you! Thanks! God damn it! Thanks, Jesse! Let's talk about apartheid for a second. <laughs> There's nothing funny about apartheid. But the silent T in the middle is kind of silly. I don't know. I, I, I wrote that joke a while ago. I think it was a different letter that was silent. In any event, there's nothing funny about it. <laughs> 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 